Hi everybody and welcome to this video. Um, what I'm going to do is, what I'm doing in this video is I'm creating a Windows 7 USB a flash drive or hard drive you can use it either or. Um, I'm going to be using a program called Rufus. Um, so here we go. So I have my Windows 7 x64 bit ISO and Rufus. So I'm going to load up Rufus. Right. As you can see, it's, there's no device options in here. Now normally there would be a, uh, if I had a USB memory stick in or a USB flash flash drive like this it would show up on there automatically but I'm using a hard drive an external hard drive to speed things up so in this I would select show advanced drive properties and then list USB hard drives so there we go it has now shown my hard drive. I'm going to select my image, which in this instance is uh, Windows 7. I'm going to keep it on GPT uh, UEFI because the system I'm going to install it on is UEFI. I'm going to keep the volume name default. And I'm also going to keep these two large fat 32 and cluster size 32. And now I'm going to click start. So this shouldn't take long. Now, if I was using a a flash drive, uh, especially the one I showed you, that is FAT32. Uh, sorry, not FAT32. That is a USB 2. So it would take forever. I would say, it would seem like forever. A good 5 10 minutes to create. Whereas this, you could probably get it done in just over a minute. Hello? So as you can see, it's nearly finished on ninety five point six now. Um, so as soon as this is finished, which it has done, so close. I'm going to eject that. Right, and there is my USB hard drive. So I'm going to end this, this video here. This is the Windows 7 how to create a USB bootable drive. So I'm going to end this video um, and I'm going to be doing in just a moment another video on installing Windows 7. So I'll see you in the next video. Uh, please like and subscribe um, if you like this video. Thank you.